got Shane Starnes here with DroidModRX.com and there has been a leak of the Verizon over the air update to Jelly Bean. Uh, it is stock, rooted, and deodexed, all for your convenience. Now, the major changes here obviously are Google Now, which is really, it's included on most Jelly Bean ROMs, uh, but prior to this we didn't have a Verizon version of the Jelly Bean official over the air. We just kind of had a meshed up Sprint, T-Mobile, uh, everything was all kind of patched together to work on the Verizon device, uh, but now that we have one that's officially from Verizon, there's a whole lot less battery drain in this official stock leak, and there's also a whole lot more fluidity. There's not, uh, I know on the previous build that I had shown you guys, the one that was all meshed up together, there was some bugs like screen flickering, and there were some other bugs that I can't think of right this second, but those are not present in this ROM. It's very clean, very stable, very solid. Battery life is a whole lot better on this ROM. Uh, and it does include, you know, like your Google Now. It includes expandable notifications, like so. And just a much improved fluidity of the ROM. Um, so guys, that is Jelly Bean. It is the latest leaked build. Uh, you can head to the link in the description to grab the ROM. Of course, you do need to be unlocked. Your bootloader needs to be unlocked. You need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed in order to flash this. We'll head into settings real quick and I'll show you guys the build number. You see there, it is Android 4.1.1. The baseband is VRLHE. And the build number is VRBL15 or VRBLI5. So if we come up here, there's a few other options that are added to TouchWiz that I'll show you guys real quick. You do have your home screen mode. So you can have standard mode, which would be just out-of-the-box TouchWiz, or you could go with a more basic uh, starter mode. That would be for those of you that are, are not very familiar with TouchWiz. You could use that instead. There was a new blocking mode but it looks like it's not in this build. All right guys, so now I'll go ahead and show you guys how to install this. You'll just boot into recovery. So the way you'll boot into recovery is volume up, home button, and power all at the same time. That should boot you into recovery. You'll want to let go whenever you see the little blue text at the top. And then it will boot into recovery. If you keep holding it, it's just going to boot into the operating system. So make sure you do let go of the buttons whenever you do see that blue text. So to install this, we'll just go to wipe. Factory reset, you'll swipe to wipe. Cache, swipe to wipe. Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. Now it should be noticed, noted that this is still 4.1.1. It's not 4.2. So you don't have the updated G apps yet. Um, as you guys know, Verizon is kind of slow at getting out the updates. So we're just now almost about to get to 4.1.1. This is a leaked build, so we're not officially there yet. Uh, hopefully we'll get 4.2 before long. Samsung seems to be one of the quicker OEMs as far as getting those updates out. So once we've wiped data, cache, and Dalvik cache, we'll go back and install. We're looking for the VRBL5 stock rooted DODEX, and that does include the GF, so you don't have to flash those separately, and we will just swipe to flash. When that's all finished, we'll reboot system and I'll leave you guys with the boot animation. Uh, it does include that goodness awful uh, 4G LTE Verizon boot animation, uh, but maybe some developers will take that out. I think Incubus has already based a ROM on this leak, uh, so you guys might want to check out Incubus's ROM. But anyways, guys, you can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button right there. Give this video a big thumbs up if it's helped you in any way. You guys don't know how much that helps this channel to grow. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.